Cabrini University has attempted to break a world record for the most socks collected in an eight hour time span with a total of 3,916. Cabrini hopes to earn a spot in the world record books with achievement like this. This could not be possible without the help of many students, volunteers, faculty, staff, families, and Tom Costello, founder of Joy of Socks. Here's the story of how he got started. I used to be homeless phobic. If I walked down the street and saw a homeless person, I would get nervous, get palpitations, cross the street and walk away. And ironically, my wife was working at a homeless shelter, volunteering at a homeless shelter. She wanted to drag me down there and I said no, but if you know Nancy, I lost that argument. We went down to a homeless shelter in Germantown. It was St. Vincent's Church on Germantown Avenue. I was scared. I couldn't get out of the car. I had palpitations, sweat pouring down my forehead. My pulse was racing. I was petrified. She dragged me by the hand into the church and as Eleanor Roosevelt said, do something each day that scares you. And it definitely scared me. And the manager said, oh Tom, simply go help those people over there bust the table. No, but I survived. So when we finished, I got in the car, locked the door, blood pressure went. On the way home, Nancy said that the, she was working with the podiatrist, the foot doctor, and the foot doctor said, homeless never get donations of socks, and they have tremendous problems with their feet. It kind of resonated with me. So it took me two years to get up enough nerve to go back. I went to Costco or Target, and I bought a bag of socks. And I'm in the bottom of the church, or the back of the church, and I'm handing out socks around Christmas. Merry Christmas, God bless you. Drop socks in the bag. Merry Christmas, God bless you. And then one lady comes up to me, doesn't make any eye contact at all, and I drop the socks and say, Merry Christmas, God bless you, and she just walks away. I'm waiting for the next guest, and her little voice says, can I please have another pair for a friend who couldn't be here? So she comes back. I drop the socks in her bag. She makes eye contact with me for the first time, and starts to cry and says, no one has ever given me a pair of socks before. And then she reached out to hug me and I never touched the homeless person before. And they hugged her back. That was my epiphany moment. If something as basic as a pair of socks has that much of an impact on a person, I had to be the sock guy. So that's how I got started. 